What is up, everybody? Welcome to Do You Want More, a UFC stat show here on the Monk Maddox channel. I am your host, Monk, aka Monk Master Flex, and let's get right into breaking down Kai Kamaka versus Danny Chavez coming up on this Saturday's card, UFC Fight Night, Uriah Hall versus Sean Strickland. Let's get into it. All right, Kai Kamaka. Oh, this is going to be a featherweight fight. Kamaka, 5'7", 69-inch reach. Danny Chavez, 5'8", 67-inch reach. Um, Chavez, significantly older than Kamaka, almost eight years older. Um, Kamaka, 8-4 and four in the UFC, or sorry, professionally. Uh, he has one submission win and two TKO losses. Uh, he is 1-2 and two in the UFC. Danny Chavez, 11-4 and four professionally, three KO TKO losses, or wins rather, and one submission loss. He is one and one in the UFC. All right. Our ass whoop index for the career, minus 3.71 for Kai Kamaka, minus 3.64 for Danny Chavez. So literally, uh, you know, both of them really towards the bottom of the division right next to each other. Uh, fight odds, I don't have every, uh, uh, best fight odds does not have everything for this fight for some reason. Um, but we do have a couple of them. Average line, that's pretty much a pick at this point. Minus 122 uh, to about a minus 110 still. So pretty much a pick there. Um, a little bit of tiny, tiny bit of money coming in on Danny Chavez, it looks like. Um, or on Kai Kamaka, rather. Let's go down. Fight finishing data. Let's see. No finish wins for either of them. Uh, Kamaka did get finished. He got uh, TKO'd um by jonathan pierce uh last november and no finishes for danny chavez either way there we go on our graphical analysis if you will with uh, just a couple of fights here striking data let's get into it kai kamaka 5.62 um significant strikes landed per minute uh at 56 percent accuracy danny chavez just under three significant strikes landed per minute at a 39 percent accuracy so much better numbers at a kamaka there um defense kamaka 6.26 significant strikes landed against him per minute that's almost the bottom of the division um at a 54 percent defense danny chavez 4.16 uh, significant strikes landed against him per minute at a 53 percent defense so you know not as much volume hitting Chavez as Kamaka, but pretty darn close. They're both getting outstruck at a decent clip here. Both have negative significant striking per minute differentials. One point, negative 1 1.23 for Danny Chavez and a negative 0 0.63 for Kai Kamaka. So Kamaka seems to be edging out the striking there, but uh, not good numbers overall, generally. Knockdown data. One knockdown for Kamaka. 0.38 knockdowns per 15 minutes. Uh, that's about half, you know, a little bit above average um, for the featherweight division. And Chavez has no knockdowns for or against. So nothing to see there. Takedown data. Seven of nine completed for Kai Kamaka. That's good for 78%. Um, and he's uh, stopped five of 12 only. Five of 12 takedown stopped. Good for just under 42% takedown defense. So not great numbers there. Uh, 2.62 takedowns landed per 15, and the same exact number landed against him per minute. Uh, Danny Chavez, 100% takedown accuracy, 5 for 5, and a decent takedown defense. He stopped, let's see, 11 takedowns out of 13 for an 85% takedown defense. Great, great takedown defense there um, in his two fights that we've seen so far. Uh, lands two and a half takedowns per 15 and only has one takedown landed against him per 15 minutes. So pretty good there. Almost an identical takedown shooting rate, 2.27 to 2.24. Um, opponents do tend to shoot takedowns on Danny Chavez, uh, at about twice the rate as they do Kai Kamaka. So let's get into control time. Everyone's favorite statistic or uh, statistical category. Uh, personally, it's mine. I love looking at striking and I love looking at uh, control time. It says so much. 28.7% uh, for Kai Kamaka um, with only 10% control time against him. Danny Chavez is pretty much the opposite. Seven and a half uh, positive control time for him and then almost 24% uh, control time against him. Um, Let's see. Control time per 15 minutes. Kai Kamaka, 4.31. So almost, averages almost, um, you know, 
four and a quarter rounds of control time per 15, whereas Danny Chavez just over a minute there. Um, so you can see the kind of work rate that goes in to the control time um, for each of them. Get up time, 20.17 seconds. Good for 11th in, in the division. Uh, and just over 30 seconds for Danny Chavez. Hold down time, 75 seconds for Kamaka, 27 for Chavez. And then the control time activity rate. What are you doing when you're uh, in control? Are you laying and praying? Are you just holding people, uh, you know, getting a rest up against the fence? Or are you trying to throw subs, takedowns, punches, etc.? 8.44 for Danny Chavez, 4.59 good for 57th out of 67 in the division. Submission and reversal data. One sub thrown by Kamaka unsuccessfully, and he has stopped two of them, or gotten two, out of two of them, rather. And uh, no sub or reversal information for Danny Chavez. Let's go down to the advanced significant striking data. Um, and we're kind of just looking to see what jumps out at us here. Um, Danny Chavez. 26.7% head striking accuracy, very, very low. Um, not really any good numbers that I'm seeing jump out. Body accuracy, I guess, for uh, Kai Kamaka. Other than that, actually, no, he does rip to the body. Two and a half significant strikes landed per minute. Uh, body strikes landed per minute, rather. Good for second in the division. So uh, let's take a look at Danny Chavez here. Body strikes landed against per minute towards the bottom of the division. So expect Chavez to get his body beat up a little bit is what I would say. Um, other than that, nothing much is standing out. Advanced significant striking percentages. This is just kind of echoing what I just said. 44% of the significant strikes landed um, from Kai Kamaka are to the body. Whereas do, 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 just under 25% of the strikes landed against Chavez are to the body. So again, topper top of the division, lower end of the division. Um, and then leg strikes for Chavez six and eight, uh, in the division, you know, so we might see some kicks from Chavez, you know, just kind of breaking it up a little bit. Uh, expect, you know, what, what are, what are we expecting to see? Are these guys head hunters or, you know, do they like to mix it up? That's kind of what this category, um, is, is going for here. Uh, and then we move on, to the graphical analysis of what I just talked about, uh, almost 89% of the strikes landed from Danny Chavez are at distance. Um, you know, 45% as we talked about from Kamaka to the body. So you can kind of take a look at these numbers and glean what you will from that. Fight history, last five fights. We're going to skip that because those stats are the exact same as their UFC career stats. And we'll get into strength of schedule here. Neither one has a very good strength to schedule, um, but Danny Chavez rules the category. 66% win percentage, 66 uh, strength to schedule, 60 strength to victory, so not great. And then uh, strength to defeat is his best number at almost 81. Uh, he did get beat by Jared Gordon uh, in his last fight, so no slouch there. So you guys can take a look. They both fought TJ Brown. Chavez uh, beat him, unanimous decision, and Kamaka lost a split decision. Very close fight. Um, to him in his last fight. So let's see. Not much else to look at there. I do like to see if they both fought the same person, you know, how they did against them. So you can take a look at that. And lastly, this is our graphical analysis for a couple of the categories. Solid blue line is our fighter, solid orange line is their opponents. Dashed blue and orange lines are our trend lines over the past five. And then the solid green line is our fighter's average, solid yellow line is their opponent's average so you want the blue over the orange you want to see our trend line going up and you want to see green over yellow we do see the exact opposite of that um, for strikes landed per minute out of kamaka pretty much gets dominated in the takedown category as well um actually no those are both the exact same never mind these numbers are overlapping um so not dominated by any means he is trending up and then control time he does uh control significantly more time than his opponents with his blue number or his blue line trending up um over a chavez kind of the same same scenario he's uh below average his opponents on strikes but above average takedown and then actually below average on control time as well so that is the statistical breakdown for kai kamaka versus danny chavez coming up on this weekend's fight card uh ufc fight night Uriah Hall versus Sean Strickland. Guys, make sure you do your tape as well. Statistics are not the end-all, be-all to picking fights. Uh, this is not a magical um, fight-picking spreadsheet, unfortunately. I wish it was, but we are not there yet. So 
um, make sure you do your tape pair it with this this is a great companion for all of your film study do both things and guys you will be making some good bets you'll be beating the bookies and you'll be having a good time watching fights this weekend ufc hall versus strickland so thanks again for watching and join me on the next one have a good one